Hi everyone, it's Anne from Health Promotion Gage Town. Welcome to our final tip of our injury reduction strategies for sports and PT series. This tip is on wearing sports protective equipment. And there's no dispute that wearing sports protective equipment works to reduce injuries. You just have to remember to actually wear it. So it doesn't, doesn't work if it's in our gym bags. So what does the research tell us? We can start with our semi-rigid ankle braces. This is one example of a semi-rigid ankle brace. Here's another example of a semi-rigid ankle brace. These ankle braces, when worn, provide a two to three-fold decrease in ankle injuries for people who have had previous ankle injury or if you're involved in a high-risk sport, so something that involves a lot of lateral movement, uh, like basketball or soccer. They're also increasingly being worn in healthy populations, so people who have not had a previous ankle injury. And how they work, they're loose fitting, so they still allow you to play your sport, but they do provide some joint feedback um, so that your ankle is aware of the position that it, that it is in, and also prevent your ankle from going into the motion that causes ankle injuries. So a good ankle brace will prevent your ankle from being pushed beyond its physiological limit. Next up, we have an outside boot ankle brace. So this is worn outside of the combat boot, and this is used with paratroopers, and it, again, prevents against ankle injuries uh, by 50%. So 50% decrease in ankle injuries with no increase in other injuries. So that part's important. Initially, there is an argument that it will protect your ankle, but then you'll cause injuries further up, so in your knee or hip. Um, we now know that that's not the case, but they do uh, prevent injuries at the ankle, no increase in other injuries. The average cost of these is about $28, and they say that every dollar uh, saves seven to nine dollars in medical costs. Wear your helmet. Bicycle helmets decrease risk of serious head and brain injury by 63 to 88%. So if you are bicycling or you're skiing or you're snowboarding, make sure that you have your helmet on. Mouth guards. So mouth guards have a two-fold decrease in oral facial injuries. So if you are in a high-risk sport like a unarmed combat, hockey, basketball, or obstacle course, Make sure that you're wearing your mouth guard. Wrist guards for snowboarders is a two to four fold decrease in wrist injuries and same wrist guard with inline skaters. There's a nine to 10 times decreased risk of wrist injuries. And the last sports protective equipment that we have is breakaway bases for any softball players out there. Those have a 23 to 33 fold decrease in injuries. This concludes our injury reduction strategies series. Hopefully you learned something and you can take at least one tip away and incorporating that into your exercise program. So thanks for tuning in and see you soon.